What is going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what is bait and why do we need it? Now, some of you may understand bait. Some of you may not understand it. Um, I'm here to this slide is going to be just showing you kind of like exactly what it's for. Um, so I'll make it kind of right to it. The top of the, the presentation, you're going to see freebie lead magnet bribe. That's something else that you might hear it be called. Now I know there's a bunch of other places out there, other sites that use different terms. Like I know like lead pages does lead magnet. Um, I know another one of the other ones is bribe. Uh, Click funnels does bait. Like there's so many terms that you could use, but for what we're doing, we're just going to use bait because I use click funnels and that's what Russell Brunson like terms it every single time I watch his videos. So we're going to say bait and what the bait does. It's like what the purpose is. It's to exchange something of value for contact information. And this contact information is what we call opt-in or lead. So it's like where you come up and you come, you give them the, the cheat sheet, you give them the free tips, the free training, the free product, the free something in exchange for their contact information, their name and their email. Simple. Or you don't even need their name, but I mean, obviously it helps with the email. If you do their name and their email, you, you got them on, not only do you have them with pixels so that you can retarget them in the ads, but now you have them in the email so that you can hit them with emails. You can hit them with content, with value, with, with more upsells, with more anything. So whatever, think about the company that you're in, the, the affiliate marketing, network marketing, whatever. Think of the, the amount of things you could start sending people. You got any deals your company's doing? You have any trials? You have any free offers? Maybe if you're in something where you can actually give them value of what has to do with your product. And I'll get into that in a little bit, right? So they're called an opt-in or a lead. Simple as that. The goal is to get either a subscriber on your list, which is where you're going to get their email, obviously, for the opt-in, uh, and attend you to an event, depending on what you guys are building. Uh, I know that some places maybe have an event. Maybe for some of you that do home events or, you know, big, like, regional events, you want people to show up, here's a good way to do it. You make webinar funnels. Um, or free call or consultation. Uh, I have an ads part to this. Um, ads manager, not ads manager, ads agency. So if you guys... Um, there's another training on that. Um, it's going to be for gyms, restaurants, courses, like pretty much it teaches you how to build a business and how to run their ads for them. Um, so you got those, uh, pet sets up for a preframe. Now this is probably one of the biggest things. <clears throat> yes, you're getting their information. Yes, they're giving them something in exchange for their contact information. But what this is doing, if you use the bait, right, it's setting your customer up and you're preframing them, right? It warms them up to you. It gets them to know you. It kind of let, loosens the, the, the yield sign where it comes to, oh, do I buy from this guy? It, it warms it up, makes them feel a little bit more welcome. It shows credibility. So if you're trying to brand yourself, you can just show people like who you are, what you've done, the results you brought in. You know, some of you are doing business and you're promoting the business. Show them how much money you've made. Show them how many lives you changed. Show them the credibility that you have to make them trust you. If you're promoting a product or a service, show them you using it. Show them somebody having a testimonial with it. Show them the credibility of the product or service that you're using or going to be using. You know, you're, you don't want to show them up in the front in the front end, but you're overall getting them ready to, to see that, yo, this guy is credible. This service is credible. These tips are good. So whatever they're offering might be good too, right? And it gets them ready for the next stage in your funnel, which is overall the upsell, which is what you're selling them. So let's see, give them an example. Let me move this. I can't see out of it. All right, hold on. I can't see. All right. Give them something that is related to the product or service you have so that when you, they see your actual product, they're more likely to buy it. Now, back to the pre-framing. Because you're not trying to give them your product or service right in the beginning, what you're supposed to do is give them something that has to do with what your product or service is so that when you sell them the product or you upsell them and you show them what it is, they are more likely to buy. Why? Because it has to do with the tips, the training, the cheat sheet that you gave them initially to open up their mind, to give them value. So if you're doing health, Right? I referred to this in one of my other videos. If you do, if you're targeting health, right, and you have a product, let's say, like, just for example, you have a protein supplement line, right, and you want to sell the protein bottles or the protein cases, the powder, whatever. What you're going to do is you're going to send them a cheat sheet or a free training or tips on maybe how to, you know, lose fat, maybe how to gain muscle, maybe the right exercises to do if you're a man or a woman. Like, you give them these tips, basically, uh, getting it down to a specific type of person. And when you give them these gifts, you are pre-framing them to get ready to do what you want them to do. So if you're doing health, 
you're pre-framing them to be a healthy mindset. You're pre-framing them to, you know, think the supplements they need, the tips, the exercises, you're getting them ready to get to, to get the supplements or the tools they need to make the implement these tips, right? So what you do is after they opt in, you upsell them, you end up selling them their product on a sales page with a protein line. And you realize, they realize, okay, well, I'm in the health industry. I just learned all these new lifts and I want to gain muscle. This guy's selling protein and it's at a cost, at a cheaper cost than regular. I actually might get this. Why? Because one, you built up the credibility. They see who you are. They see what the product has done. They see that you're giving them value. And then you show them something that's going to only help them get to where they need to be. And that is where you're going to sell people. That is how you're going to get your product sold. So for those of you that are doing products or sales, like really think about, think about what your bait is or what it's going to be. Okay. Think about who's going to use it, the specific type of person. Right. And then once you figure it out, execute, execute, give them the value that has to do with what you have and they will open up their mind. They will see that they need the product that you're going to sell in order to implement the free tips and the free trainings and the free cheat sheet that they just got. It's a very cool way. It's, and the one thing you guys are going to learn throughout this whole entire process is like Facebook ads is all about psychology. It's literally all about psychology. If you guys can get in people's heads without selling them, without telling them what to do, when you offer them their product, this product, they're going to be like, oh, this is exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, duh, because I've been giving you the tips in order to make it happen. Like you're pre-framing, you're like conditioning them to get ready. So it's a really cool thing. It's why I love Facebook ads, why I love doing this stuff because I know how to get in people's heads. <laughs> it's, it's fun. You guys join this because I got in your head, right? You probably saw my, my retargeting ad or something where you bought the bat, whatever. You, you saw something that, that targeted you. You saw something that you could relate to. So you guys can do this exact same thing for your customers. You're going to get a lot of, a lot of sales, a lot of leads, and a lot of follow-ups. So everyone, have a good day.